Hello guys, Brian here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to look at a house called Atkinson's and this fragrance is called the Excelsior Bouquet. And this is a fragrance house that doesn't get a lot of love on uh, YouTube. Uh, my man uh, Chad from the Gentleman's Journey channel uh, talks about this fragrance house quite a bit. I believe this might be my second fragrance from this house that I've talked about. Um, came out in 2015 and classified as a leather fragrance with top notes of sage and flint, middle notes of spices, and in the base we have leather and vetiver. Um, and this fragrance, for some reason over at Fragrantica, is often compared to Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. And I don't really get that comparison. My nose, the vetiver here is very hidden. I don't really get much vetiver here. At least not in the sense that I usually associate with vetiver. Um, and really there's not much in the way of citrus. Nothing's mentioned in the way of citrus here either. And with Grey Vetiver, it had like a grapefruit or lemon citrus. So... Yeah, I don't get any of that lemony or grapefruity citrus here. Um, what I do get here, maybe it is a leather fragrance, right? And so the leather is in the background. That is like the base of everything here. And uh, it's not your typical suede or black leather to my nose. It's almost like a purple leather. When I smell this fragrance, I associate the smell of this fragrance with purple. And uh, when I usually think of fragrances that smell purple the first thing that comes to my mind is Ralph Lauren's purple label so I do get some similarities between this one and Ralph Lauren's purple label or Bleecker Street from bond number nine which is similar to that as well um, of course this one it didn't have that uh, tobacco flower note in it like uh, purple label so but I do believe purple label had sage in it so it's kind of in that vein sort of a very upscale purpley smelling fragrance and I'm not sure why it has a purple smell to it it very well could have that same uh, blackberry accord that uh, purple label has it has like almost like a purple or deep purplish hue to it in a fruity way but not overly fruity so we'll say maybe like a blackberry leather type thing and I know some varieties of sage or purple as well maybe that's where that purple is coming from I don't know but I get like a purpley leather I, I just picture a guy wearing like a purple suede leather jacket and um you do get a little bit of that flint in there as well. So the jacket isn't clean. It, it's like he's worn this jacket. Maybe he uh, wore it down in his shop. And he was working with some uh, metals and things. And got some uh, shavings on, on the jacket fibers. And it kind of gave it a dirty mineral type smell as well. So you get a little bit of that as well. Like a mineralistic um, sage leather. Almost like a purple berry kind of a thing going on as well. So it's kind of like purple label to my nose, but it's not quite as good because it didn't have that tobacco flower note. So I think if you like fragrances like Bleecker Street uh, and uh, purple label, this one is something you might want to check out because it kind of falls in that same family, at least to my nose. No one else seems to find that uh, association appropriate, but uh, I don't know what's going on. But I certainly don't get uh, gray vetiver from Tom Ford. So, yeah. It's an interesting fragrance. You got picture a guy, maybe 40 and up, beard, jacket, maybe he has a pipe. You know, that's kind of the guy uh, that you're going to get here. Very elegant, refined. And I do believe Atkinson's is known for uh, concocting fragrances for the royal family. I mean, I think that was your original uh, purpose. So you, you do get a very upscale, royal kind of a smell. And even the name, Excelsior Bouquet, one of the more pretentious names for a fragrance that I've ever come across since uh, Exceptional Because You Are. But uh, yeah, the name is very upscale, and you expect something upscale, and it kind of delivers in that regard. But for me, it's not a great fragrance. It's okay. Maybe something that I would wear on occasion, but uh, I don't think I'd want a full-size bottle of this one. I got two samples off of eBay for, I think, less than $10. So I think, you know, if you want to try something different... Uh, with like a purplish leather flinty sage kind of a smell to it check this one out and see what you think for me though my final scores smell i'll give a six out of ten it's not a bad smell it's just uh it, like i said once you smell purple label it's hard to uh 
raise the bar on that fragrance in, in terms of a purple smell. That's an upscale fragrance. And this one doesn't quite reach that bar. It, it comes up here close, trying to reach, but it doesn't quite get there, in my opinion. Projection longevity, about three to five hours. Again, it's not a real strong fragrance. The notes seem to imply that it's going to have a lot of power to it with the vetiver and the leather and the sage. But really, it's, it's just sort of a close to the skin type fragrance and no one really complimented or said anything you know wore this fragrance to work so six and a half out of ten for projection longevity versatility i'll say five out of ten for the right person this could be a signature scent you could wear it in the evenings or as a signature day wear fragrance for me it would probably be more of a change up fragrance when something a little bit different uh change things up but uh yeah i don't see myself wearing this one too often uniqueness eight out of ten i think it does a great job i think that flint and the mixed with the leather and the sage really gives it a unique spin from other fragrances out there. So, yeah, the uniqueness is pretty good, 8 out of 10. Price point, I've seen this as low as about $68 for the 3.3 ounce. So, yeah, you know, less than $70, you get a pretty upscale uh, quality fragrance. For me, though, overall, 6 out of 10. It didn't quite do it for me. Uh, fun one to check out, but I don't think I'll be buying a full size bottle of this one. But check it out if you're into like that purpley smelling leather or sage flinty type stuff. Um, yeah, I can send the Excelsior bouquet. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys later.